I'm a shark. I'm scary. I'm hungry. I just, I wish I could eat some juicy penguins. <gasps> Two juicy penguins right there. <laughs> Look how cute they are to play. <laughs> they're so cute. They don't know what's coming. Now I'm gonna eat them. I'm a shark. Your belly's mine. Welcome back to A Teacher She Waits for another juicy episode. Today, we're going to be talking about a game of little animal penguins who come back and fight for their home. Penguins Pals, Antarctica's Greatest Heroes, a game by Adam Goss, published by South Pole Games LLC. It's a cooperative, scenario-driven game based on dice rolling and with a small hand management component. Players take the role of unique penguins uh, with their own unique abilities and strengths and fight to protect their home against a common enemy. Each player sheet has what, what is needed to play the game, where to place dice, the unique abilities, uh, but on the back of the player sheet, there are useful strategy tips, but also actual information about the penguin species. It's a uh, conservation status, the population trend, sadly you will see decreasing for most of those species, and prey and diet, very, very interesting. At the beginning of the game, players choose their unique penguin and a scenario that they want to play against. The game comes with three yeah, different yeah. scenarios with unique abilities and uh, winning conditions. The round is structured in four phases. The player's phase is the most important one. The leader of the round, the first player, which rotates from round to round, rolls the dice, two per player. And then, starting from the leader, going clockwise order, each player plays two actions, which can be any of the following. The first action, is the core of the game, using a die. You take a die, you place either in your ability dice slot or support dice slot. If the symbol of the die chosen matches one of the symbols of the uh, penguin's uh, player sheet, that penguin triggers that unique ability. Otherwise, you resolve the dice phase at a standard effect, which is for the damage, dealing two damages to an enemy with a heart, a healing two damages previously suffered, the card symbols drawing one action card, or the fish symbol getting two fish. After having used the die, the player takes a power mark and covers the symbol matching the dice that it was just used in his power mark section, which when fully covered will unleash that penguin's unique superpower for the rest of the game. When a player places the die on an ability die slot, it triggers the corresponding ability reaction on the enemy sheet. Other possible action, using an action card. As a cost, costing fish, top left of the card, you play the action card, spend the fish, and resolve his ability. It can be a one shot card, can be a reaction card to be used when the condition is triggered, or it can be an ongoing card. Each player cannot have more than three ongoing cards on his player sheet. Other action, discarding an action card, for the purpose of drawing two fish, because fish is very important, as you will see soon. Finally, a player can pass. After the player's phase, we have the enemy phase. At the beginning of this phase, we see if that unique scenario has some abilities that are triggered. Then we draw one card from the enemy draw pile and resolve it. it can be ongoing, can be an enemy card that is placed in the specific section, or it can be a one-shot card. Afterwards, there is the eating phase. Players must fulfill their penguin's hunger value. So if, if my penguin has a hunger value of two, I gotta feed him two fish. If the fish is not enough to feed all penguins, players must take damages. Of course, a single penguin cannot take more damages than his hunger value. And players decide together who's taking damages. Finally, there is a round up phase where certain tokens are, are removed from the game, and players each draw one action card, and then 
the leader uh, token is passed to the next player. And the game goes on until either a winning condition is satisfied or players lose because all penguins have exhausted or in the we stand together variant when one penguin has been exhausted. When a penguin is exhausted, it's pretty much eliminated from the game. Molly, how do you win Pangy Spells, Antarctica's greatest hero? <laughs> Well, number one, smartly control the scenario's ability reactions by choosing the right die at the right time. Very crucial. Number two, remember team effort using the unique abilities of the players. Yeah, it's a cooperative game after all. We each have our own strengths and weaknesses. Let's put our brains together trying to defeat the common enemy. Number three, it's crucial to decide on how to split the fish when there are not enough fish for everyone. So we're gonna be surrounding the eating phase. We gotta satisfy our penguins hunger level and sometimes fish is not enough. So who's gonna take the damage here? And you know, okay. not in please, no, it's so cute. Thank you guys for checking it out. And remember, it's about warrior penguins, penguins pulse, Antarctica's greatest heroes. Penguin pulse. Sorry, that's my accent. Okay, let's do it again, one more time.